it may be too early, but from main trends perspective, where is Gen AI in your radar? Is it too early? Is it not the right use case? And we cannot look at both aspects. Mainframes for Gen AI and Gen AI for it's a, mainframes. It's a really good question. So the mainframe is quite a specialist computing platform. So it's a transactional processor. But one of the success stories that I was really shocked when I heard this was we came back to fraud detection. So every time a transaction goes through, um, you know, you hit your credit card. I think every time you blip your credit card to buy a cup of coffee or something, I think it travels through about seven mainframes. So all of your payment providers, all of the, your banks will be running mainframe. So it goes through lots of other bits of architecture, but there's about seven mainframes, generally is the average, I think, that get involved in that transaction through different people. And they all have to make sure that when they got some traffic coming in, it was trusted, that, you know, the person has the right money, we trust it, and then they pass it on to somebody else. Fraud detection has to occur. If you, if you reject too many payments, your customers are just going to go somewhere else. They're going to go buy their coffee next door, or eventually they're going to leave you as being your bank or your payment provider. So you have to give them quality of service. And then eventually, if it was a fraudulent transaction, you undertake the risk. You go, well, we authorized it. We're sorry. You know, so the banks take a hit, OK? Because they have to underwrite this fraud. And there's a lot of fraud. There's scammers out there and all sorts of bad people, bad actors in the world. So one of the things the IBM Z16 Talon processor on the mainframe, what people have done there is they've created the AI models and they've trained them on what is a fraudulent transaction and what isn't. And then they deploy those models co-located. So right next to the, it's the exact same piece of silicon that's doing the transactional computing is also doing the AI. And they've gone, customers have, have told stories where they've gone from being able to do fraud detection on one five, fifteen percent of all transactions, right, to one hundred percent. So there are banks right now using mainframes and using AI-based models that are they're trained externally, right? The, the mainframe computing platform isn't where you want to build your LLM, but once you deploy it there and you co-locate it on the silicon, so you know we're talking about literally, you know, nanometers and you know laws of physics about how quickly you can do this with no network latency and. Um, co-located on the processor, they're able to give you 100% of um, accuracy and confidence that that person <laughs> buying that coffee, they're your customer, and that's the coffee shop um, that they lined up with this morning. So for me, and I'm, I'm drinking my coffee. I must have coffee on the mind, yeah. But so absolutely, um, I wouldn't use a mainframe. There are other platforms out there. There are quantum computing that's very, very exciting vector that really excites me, and, and there's a lot of interesting things, yeah. But.